Hey coaches, my name is Becky Schrader and I am your Beachbody coach. I just have a quick tutorial for you today on how to manage your friends on Facebook. There's two things you want to be doing as a Beachbody coach. The first thing is once a month you want to create a friend list corresponding to that month. And then as you are adding new friends on Facebook, you want to add those friends to the list corresponding to the month that you became friends. Before I show you how to do that, I just want to tell you why you want to do this. So let's say that you are adding about 30 new friends per month, conservatively. You want a way to be able to connect directly with all those people that you added, let's say last month, so that you can efficiently interact with them and efficiently add them to your next challenge group invitation or your next open house invitation or our next coach training invitation. When you categorize people into friend lists, when you issue them an invitation through a Facebook event, you can select everyone in the list at one time with one click and add them all to the invite at once versus having to search through your growing friend list and find the right people to invite. When you follow this system, you know exactly when you became friends with them and when you should invite them to the next event. Okay, so let's go through how exactly you do this. First step is you want to create your monthly list on the first of every month. So you do that by clicking on your home screen, scrolling down until you see on the left the section for friends. Click on more and you'll see a list of your friend lists. <laughs> okay, you wanna click on create list. You're gonna name the list the year and the current month and click create. You're gonna see this is your list and it currently has no one in it. That's exactly what you wanna see, okay? The next thing you're going to do is let's suppose that you receive a friend request or a friend request is accepted that you sent previously. Okay, so you'll see those show up here under friend requests in your Facebook page. So let's just say you want to accept a friend request. Let's accept Chris. So I'm going to click on confirm. He's now my friend. And before I move on to doing anything else, I want to hover over his name, scroll down to where it says friends, and then scroll down and click on add to another list. It's going to present me with a list of all my different friend lists. And all I need to do is click on the one that corresponds to the list I just made, which is June 2015. Okay, now he's part of that list. And I can move on to the next step. So that's what you want to do each time you add someone or someone accepts your friend request. I'll show you what this looks like. If you go back to your home page and back to your friends section and you click on the list for the current month, you're gonna see that it is populated with the people you've added to it. At this, at this point, there's only one person on here. But what you're going to see in this section, once you get people on this list, is you're going to see their posts to Facebook. So it's basically a way that you can see a refined timeline of only the friends that you've added this month. What this allows you to do is to quickly interact with their posts. You can like their posts, comment on their posts, and begin to build a relationship with them by showing interest in what they're posting on Facebook. Similarly, when you get ready to invite them to an event, let's just say I don't have an event. Let's invite them to a past event. Let's say I wanted to invite someone to my next challenge group. Okay. I would click on my event, I would go to my invite button, 
and wait for it to refresh. And here, instead of just scrolling through all my friends, I would go to my lists. In this case, June 2015, and I would select all. Okay, this is not a very good example right now because we only have one person on this list, but let's say my list was from last month and I wanted to invite 113 people from last month at one time. Rather than having to click on each and every one of these, I can just select all and it invites everyone all at once. Okay, so that is all I wanted to show you guys today. Make sure again that on the first of the month, you go into Facebook following these steps and create a monthly friend list. And then as you add people to your Facebook list, make sure that you associate them with that list of the current month. Again, that way, when you want to go and interact with your new friends and show interest in their posts and build a relationship with them, you can easily find their posts by going to your Facebook friend list. Alternatively, when you're ready to invite them to your next event, you simply select the list and select all from the list and boom, you've invited everyone in one fell swoop. Okay. If you have any questions on this, please email me at fitnesswithbecky at gmail.com. I'll be happy to walk you through exactly how I do this and um, how it's been a great efficiency tool for me in my business. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon.